Hey guys, here we are, DC Autotronics, Escondido, California, 760-715-2404, or dc.autotronics at gmail.com. All right, so as I promised, here's the literally the first build that we're going to uh, be using the Oz product. This is a 2007 Jeep SRT8. We actually did a radio install on this vehicle a while back, and some, a lot of you have been asking, can we hear it? Uh, the reason we didn't shoot uh, different, or we didn't shoot video because we were waiting for product. So now we have it. So let me go through it real quick. He's got a Pioneer head unit, guys. It is aftermarket. We'll be installing um, RCAs, of course, and then um, put back his radio. It, it does come with Bluetooth. I'm not sure what model it is, but it's a Pioneer. Uh, it's a four volt pre out. any rate, we're going to be using some four gauge OFC. Let me repeat. That is four gauge OFC. I'm gonna recommend you guys using OFC for any Brazilian amplifier that you use. Um, I won't mention the name, but as if you're gonna use Brazilian amplifiers, always use OFC wire, even if it's eight gauge, because uh, we do use eight gauge as well. All right, so uh, doors, we'll, do, we, we'll be using the um, Oz components, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you doors. We are not modifying this door, we're just building a simple plate and installing some speakers. Um, you will, he will actually get the component set going in the front, six and a half, so a six and a half in the door, and we'll be modifying a little plate to install the dome tweeter for both sides, driver and passenger. Um, the vehicle has an upgraded battery, which is a lead uh, or a, a GM battery, very powerful, and as you can see, we'll be using uh, power and ground from the front battery to the rear, and then we'll install a fuse block. Uh, let's get to the product. All right, so we will be using a set of components for the front, which is the Oz V six and a halves, and we'll be using the Oz uh, six and a half coaxials for the rear. Why are we doing that? Well, he doesn't want to modify the vehicle to install a pair of tweeters in the back. All right, so that's the reason why we're doing that. We'll also be using our baskets, our foam baskets. For you guys who have been asking us, what are they? Well, they're baskets. They basically act as an enclosure. Um, and they work really, really, really well. All right, so again, um, coaxials, or excuse me, coaxials and components. Components in the front, coaxials in the rear door. And some RCAs we'll be using, not the high, high, high end, but they are high end. It's got the nice tight, RCA, I mean, once you install those suckers, it is a pain in the booty to get out. The reason we're using a different color, so when we get to the back, we know this is a subwoofer um, RCA. Uh, we'll also be using some blocks because we do need to distribute the power. Uh, these won't be non-fused because the amps are be using minimum power, and I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so we've got two distribution blocks, one for ground, one for uh, power, and of course, the fuse holder. The fuse holder is only gonna be 80 amps. It was the amplifier, so we'll be using the Sound Digital 400 by four to run four speakers. This does 92 RMS, <clears throat> um, which is about 80, 85% uh, of its power. And that's basically what it does. Why are we doing that? Because this only needs 80 RMS and those only need 60 RMS. This will work out great. So here's the subwoofer enclosure. We will be using uh, one of our own designs, uh, which is ported. Let me see if I can squeeze it here. As you can see, it's got a three inch arrow port. Again, this is our design, not a prefab box. And of course, as we showed you in the other video, there's the uh, box that the eight inch came into, came in from. So <clears throat> if you guys wanna know specs on this box, feel free to email or call and we'll give you specs on this box. This box also we have some terminals, so it's a quick fix. Uh, this box is really efficient. You can see the size of it. It does exactly what it's supposed to do for the type of the design um, or vehicle it goes into. This will be running. Um, so this is going to be a trick question. Danny, why are you guys only running that, man? What's the deal? DC Autotronics, what's happening? This is a 4 ohm single voice coil. This is a 1 ohm. This does uh, 590 RMS at 1 ohm. Well, how much power am I going to see? Well, if this only needs 150, this will give me 150 at 4 ohms. So we divide that by two at two ohms and then so on and so forth. This will give me anywhere between about 135 to 168, 170 RMS at about 13 volts. 
So we know it's gonna put out some monster power. And again, it's the efficiency. This is gonna run really efficient because it's gonna run at four ohms. And that only needs 150 RMS. So like I said earlier, you guys, in the other videos, and of course, we're installing a uh, signal controller. This is not a gain controller. It is a signal controller. This will control the signal output from the head unit to the amplifier. It will act as a gain controller so he can control his signal, not his gain. And of course, we've got a three foot RCA that will run from the head unit to the controller. And then from the controller goes to the amplifier. All right, guys, uh, power. We will be using, well, I've already showed you the power wire. Uh, we'll be using the copper terminals. We'll be heat shrinking those bad boys. So it's a pretty simple install. But as you can see, a lot of the stuff, <clears throat> the, the minor things, we you upgrade. Why do you upgrade? So you can make it efficient, guys. You don't want to have any resistance at all, period. This is what makes these simple systems sound like a few thousand dollars. They help out tremendously, guys. Just keep that in mind. All right, guys, if you have any questions on everything you see here or need prices, and a lot of you have been asking me already if I give prices. We do not give prices via YouTube. We just don't do that. Remember, we're distributors. We also have stores. If you guys need prices or would like prices, you can call or email. Uh, again, even if you email, we won't give you prices if you're not a store. <laughs> don't be embarrassed to give us a call, guys. We can help you guys out. All right. Um, where are the amps going to go? Well, it's kind of dark already. Hopefully you can see. If not, hey, can you give me some light back here real quick? So basically there's a compartment that goes here. The amps will go in these two compartments. We'll also distribute the power. RCAs will come on the right side. Power comes on the left. We're going to be installing some new power speaker wire. Let me get back to that. Speaker wire is also OFC. <clears throat> OFC. OFC all through this system. All right? No CCA wire at all whatsoever. All right, guys. If you have any questions about what we're doing with this Jeep, give me a holler or email us. All right, guys. Stay tuned.